Number 40. Only the second one is true, so let's read it out. The timed opening of the retard breaker points is designed to prevent engine kickbacks during start. Once again, the timed opening of the retard breaker points is designed to prevent engine kickbacks during start. That's the only one that's true. Only the second one is true. The time opening of the retard breaker points is designed to prevent engine kickback during start. Number 43, distributors. Distributors. So a certain nine cylinder radial engine used a non-compensated single unit dual type magneto with a four pole rotational rotating magnet and a separately mounted distributor. Which of the following will have the lowest RPM at any given engine speed? And that would be the distributors. The distributors. The distributors will have the lowest RPM at any given engine speed. Number 44, hard starting. Hard starting. So what will the effect of the spark plug are gapped too wide? You're gonna have a hard start. If the spark plugs are gapped too wide, you're gonna have a hard starting hard starting. Number 45, coal insulator. Core insulator. Core insulator. So when removing a shielded spark plug, which of the following is more likely to be damaged? And that's the core insulator. The core insulator is more likely to be damaged when you are removing a shielded spark plug. Core insulator. 46, ground the secondary circuit through the crack. Ground the secondary circuit through the crack. Ground the secondary circuit through the crack. So what likely effect would a crack distributor rotor have on a magneto? Ground the secondary circuit through the crack. What likely effect would a crack distributor rotor have on a magneto? Ground the secondary circuit through the crack. Number 47. A high energy spark is required for ignition. A high energy spark is required for ignition. High energy spark is required for ignition. So how does the ignition system of a gas turbine engine differ from the, that of a reciprocating engine? A high energy spark is required for ignition. A high energy spark is required for ignition. How does the ignition system of a gas turbine engine differ from that of a reciprocating engine? That a high energy spark is required for ignition. Number 48, at the trigger transformer at the trigger transformer. So in a gas turbine engine DC capacitor discharging ignition system, what are the high voltage pulses formed? The, at, the high, at the trigger transformer, where are the high voltage pulses formed? Excuse me. So in a turbine engine DC capacitor discharge ignition system, where are the high voltage pulses formed? They are formed at the triggered transformer, at the triggered transformer, at the triggered transformer. Number 49, so coarse grained, coarse grained, coarse grained. So which of the following breaker points characteristics is associated with a faulty capacitor? Coarse grained, coarse grained is associated with a faulty capacitor coarse grained. Number 50, by use of cable piercing screws, by use of cable piercing screws. So how are most radial engine spark plugs wires connected to the distributor block? They're connected by the use of cable piercing screws. Cable piercing screws. Number 51, hottest cylinder of the engine hottest cylinder of the engine. So thermocouples are usually inserted or installed on the hottest cylinder of the engine. Thermocouples are usually inserted or installed on the hottest cylinder of the engine. Hottest cylinder of the engine. Number 52, the store energy, <clears throat> number 52, the stored energy in the ignition shield lead unloading after normal timed ignition. 
the stored energy in the ignition shielded lead unloading after normal timed ignition. So capacitance after firing of a spark plug is caused by the stored energy of the ignition shielded lead unloading after normal timed ignition. Stored energy in the shielded and ignition shielded lead unloaded after normal time ignition. This goes back to real simple. When you're changing a lead, an igniter lead, okay, it's extremely important that before you get to disconnected from the exciter box or even directly from the igniter itself, that you stop and wait. You disconnect all the electrical power from the airplane. Why? Because there's a strong chance that that power box is fully loaded and you will get shocked, you will get zapped. There's, it's, it's bound to happen. So there's always stored energy in the ignition shielded lead. So be careful with that, all right? So a capacitance after firing of a spark plug is caused by the stored energy in the ignition shielded lead unloading after normal timed ignition. Guys, take another quiz and I'll see you soon.